This is my client, Gabrielle, who flew in from New York for treatment for pudendal neuralgia, and she will tell her story. Um, yes, so about four and a half months ago, in early November 2019, um, I was in a rear-ended accident. Um, about five days later, I was in a second rear-ended accident, um, and I immediately had an onset of um, pain in my pelvic area. That was very confusing. Um, I then got diagnosed with pudendal neuralgia and was told by a number of different physicians that I would need things like nerve blocks every three months, um, even strange things like chirotherapy where they freeze your pudendal nerve, um, and I wanted to look for a more manual um, way of going about this um, pain that I was experiencing. and. Um, I had done some research and I had found Dr. Jerry Hesch at Hesch Institute um, in Aurora, Colorado, and he has treated a number of patients successfully with pudendal neuralgia, um, and I felt that that was a great route. It's non-invasive. Um, he's seen me for three days now in a row, and he was really accommodating with my schedule. Um, I was in and out within two hours each visit, and he's really given me a conclusive uh, overview, um, head to toe, really, of all of um, of the different um, dysfunctions that could have been um, ailing or making my pelvis feel like it was in more pain. So um, he gave me, he would videotape me. He videotaped me the first day that I came here um, with my initial presentation. And um, even today I'm in significantly less pain than I was even 72 hours ago when I came here. Um, and it's been a true blessing. And I'm leaving um, Aurora, Colorado with a lot of hope that you know, in the next couple months, um, nerves take a long time to heal, but that I will have a lot of um, relief from this pain that I'm experiencing, and I couldn't have gotten it without Jerry. He gave me a very personalized um, physical therapy daily plan that I'm to follow, um, and I'll follow it religiously, and I'm really excited. Um, I would recommend anyone to Jerry for any um, ailment that you have. Um, anatomically. Um, he does a really conclusive look at each individual patient um, and does a really good diagnosis, especially for SI joint dysfunction um, or anything in that ailment, but he treats you neck to toe. So yeah, I would absolutely recommend him 10 out of 10. And thank you. What was unique about the HESH approach? Um, and what did we treat in your body? What were the like the most salient findings? Yes, there was a number of findings that we found. Um, something really unique is that um, he gave me this five millimeter piece of foam um, that I am to put right under my um, the left side of my um, sit bone when I'm sitting. And like I had told Jerry this morning, just in passing while we were talking, was that it was immediately so much, I felt so much relief even just sitting at my computer and my laptop um, working from home here in Aurora. Um, and that was fascinating. And why do you need a piece of foam under your left sit bone? Um, well, there was a lot of things going on with me. Um, but it appeared that, and correct me if I'm wrong, Jerry, that my pelvis was a little bit misaligned. So From development. It from developed develop that way. Develop. So I couldn't correct that manually. Uh, that's how you're made. Exactly. So there was really no other route. Um, but again, it's super, super simple fix. Um, little half square black foam I could just put right under and it's immediately relief. I could put it in my purse, I could take it to work, I could put it in my car. Um, he also gave me uh, a foam roller that I could roll my, my back on um, and sort of do my own manual myofascial release. If I'm feeling that there's a tender point, I simply just roll my that part of my back um, all the way up on that point and it gives me a lot of relief there. And that's a four inch diameter foam. There's so much hard foam out there that's five, six, eight inch diameter, and that was four, yes. and it gives a little bit, so it's comfortable. It does, um, and I even told Jerry that over the years, um, being an athlete, um, just being an active girl, I had bought, you know, from sporting good places, really hard foam rollers, and it never provided me relief. It was often just painful, um, and this foam roller has a lot of give, so it doesn't have, it's not putting as much pressure into me. It's actually allowing my body to get the relief that it needs without putting too much pressure and force into me, which I found lovely. Another thing is that I hold a lot of tension in my shoulders, um, and Jerry was able to, and it's, this was one of my, the best things that we've done thus far too, amongst everything else, but 
um, we're able to put two sort of like five inch foam pieces underneath my shoulders and it's really simple. I just lay flat on my, my stomach with the foam rollers underneath my shoulders and it pushes them back um, and it provides a lot of relief cervically and just in my shoulders um, and it releases a lot of that tension. So that's something I could do once a week um, that's provided substantial relief even just since yesterday, less than 24 hours later. And with respect to your pudendal nerve pain, what did we find? Well, we found a number of things. Um, one of the main things that we found was that um, because my pelvis was so misaligned, there was a possible entrapment of that nerve. Um, and the first day I was here, literally within five minutes of Jerry analyzing my body, he was able to do the proper adjustments, which were not painful whatsoever. They were very simple. Um, he was able to quickly do them for me as I was lying on his table, and it provided so much relief that I was able to sit comfortably. Um, before coming to Hesh Institute, I was experiencing 9, 10 out of 10 pain almost constantly, and I did not know what to do. I was in a desperate place, um, but he has now readjusted my pelvis where there is no nerve entrapment now, um, and that's why now we're in the healing process. We, we don't have the entrapment. We're able to play the waiting game. I'm going to religiously do the therapy that I've been um, sort of diagnosed with. Jerry's diagnosed me with and provided me with, and it's been all really individualized to me. And your pattern is unique to the hash method because it's not described in the traditional literature. Right. And that's called a left lower windswept pelvis. It is. Again, the uh, orthopedists have a fracture pattern of the pelvis that they use that terminology, but I use it a little bit differently. And uh, we treated it one time and one time only, and you came back two days in a row, and that lower windswept pelvis is gone. Yes. Your coccyx is no longer side bent. Yes. Your um, sacral tuberous and sacrospinous ligaments were very tight, and the pudendal nerve goes between those ligaments. Absolutely. So we believe that there is now no longer tension or compression on that pathway between those ligaments of the pudendal nerve. And... Um, that this unique way of aligning the lower pelvis is important for pudendal neuralgia. Absolutely. Um, another thing I found really incredible about the, the way that Jerry went about treating me with the Hesh method is that, you know, 24 hours after my original, um, my first time meeting Jerry, he checked me and things were still in alignment as they were as he treated me. And again, you know, 72 hours later after um, he originally treated me. I'm still in alignment and things are as they they should be um, And Jerry had mentioned to me that I should stay in alignment, you know Granted, I'm not falling on my tailbone or getting into a crazy accident or anything like that So it really it was you know a three-time Fix for me to get back in alignment and live my normal healthy young 24 year old life And you don't have to keep coming back to see me. I don't have to keep coming back to see Jerry. It's a very, you you have a business degree. I do, yes. This is a very bad business model. (laughs) It is, yes, it is. Sad. It is So sad. But, um, but (laughs) you know, Jerry truly cares about his patients and wants the best. Thank you very much. Absolutely.